Namaste. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this class to take care of your lower back. Lower back pain is quite usual, it's quite common when you spend a lot of your day sitting. So in this class I aim to give you a few simple exercises that you can do anytime to release and to relieve, to, to get a sense of relief in your, in your lower back. So let's get started straight away sitting comfortably. You can sit on top of a pillow or just uh, on your mat or on the floor. Bringing the hands on top of the knees, we will do some circles with the upper body. This will help to mobilize the, the lower back and to release all the tension there. And we will move with the breath. So as we come forward, we inhale. And as we go back, we exhale. Again, we come forward, we inhale. Back, exhale, always through the nose. Exhale back, and we're going to change direction. So, to the other direction. And again, as we come forward, we inhale. As we go back, we exhale. The breath is as important as movement in yoga. So always be conscious of your breath. And one last time, coming back to the center. We're going to come into a twist. So bringing your right hand on top of the left knee and the left hand behind your back. Inhale, straighten the spine. And as you exhale, come into a twist, looking over your left shoulder. Inhale, coming back to the center. Twists are really effective to release any tension in your lower back. Then we go to the other side. So the left hand comes on top of the right knee, the right hand behind the back, straighten the spine, inhale, and as you exhale, look over your right shoulder. Inhaling back to the center. We come into all fours for a few cat cow stretches. So if you have sensitive knees, you can support them with some padding, with a blanket, with a, a pillow. Bringing the hands on the mat, the wrists underneath the shoulders and the knees right underneath the hips. As we inhale, we look up and we arch the back. And as we exhale, we round the back. Again, moving with the breath, inhaling, look up, arch the back. And exhale, round the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the back. Be careful to not overstretch your neck as you look up. Exhale, round the back. And the last time, inhale, look up. And exhale, round the back. Vertebra by vertebra, the slower you go, the better. So now we're coming to a wide legged child's pose opening. The knees as wide as the mat, bringing the toes together. Extend the arms on the mat over the head and bring the forehead on the mat. This is very relaxing for the whole back. It helps to release also the tension in the hips. So you can stay here for a longer time if you wish. Just press the pause button and stay for longer. Breathing deeply into your lower back. So bring, be conscious of bringing your breath all the way into your lower back. And 
And as you inhale, you can slowly come back to the center and into one, one of my favorite poses, the Malasana, the squatting posture. So opening the feet, uh, hip width apart. Maybe your heels are not touching the floor, then you can support them. You can either roll your mat for support or put a blanket underneath so that you have some support. Bringing the elbows on the inside of the knees, keeping a straight spine, opening the chest. Might be not very comfortable at the beginning, but you can slowly, slowly go into this posture and increase the time that you stay in it and at some point it, it will get more and more comfortable. It really has a lot of benefits for your lower back, opens the hips, for the women it eases the, the period pain, the menstruation pain, it prepares for delivery, it's also very good to, to enhance the digestion. So, if you only do one pose a day, I would recommend to do this one. Also strengthens the ankles, stretches the Achilles tendon, and it's very grounding. Just one more breath. And you can slowly sit back and come to lie on your back for the next stretch. So we are going to bring the right ankle on top of the left knee, holding the left knee either on top or underneath, whatever feels easier, keeping your head on the mat, the neck is long, the right foot is flexed, gently pull your left knee towards your chest, finding a stretch on the right side, on the right hip flexor, on the piriformis muscle also. Sometimes it's responsible for sciatica pain, so this stretch might help you to prevent sciatica. Stay here for a few more breaths. The longer, the better. This usually feels very tight. If you sit a lot, if you run, if you cycle. And this is very, very good lower back care. It's stretch. Inhale deeply one more last, one last time and slowly release the legs on the mat and come to the other side, changing the legs. So the left ankle comes on top of the right knee. You hold the right knee either on top or underneath. This side I will do underneath because both sides are never completely the same. So might be that one side is more tight than the other it's okay. Just observe that. Maybe you need to spend a few more minutes on the tighter side. Just observe that and take care of your body accordingly. Breathing deeply into your left hip flexor. One more breath. And gently release the legs, the feet on the mat. We're going to open the feet as wide as the mat and bringing the knees together. We stay there for a few deep breaths. This is also very, very relaxing for the lower back. So you can scoop the tailbone so that the lower back is in, in contact with the mat. This is a, a posture that you can do anytime, whenever you're feeling a lot of lower back pain, it will ease 
the pain. It's a, it's a posture where the psoas muscle can rest. You can stay here for a few minutes and you will feel the difference. And you can release the posture and come into the happy baby. So just bending the knees, we're going to hold the toes. If the toes are too far away, you cannot reach them. You can always hold the ankles or even behind the knees, whatever feels better. So if you can catch the toes, hold the toes, you can roll side to side playfully like a happy baby, name of the posture, and again that's a good release for the lower back. Hip opening posture releases the tension on the hips that accumulates when we sit for long hours. And you can release, bring the knees together, hug the knees to your chest, bringing the hands on top of the knees, make circle, circles with your knees, giving a nice massage to your lower back. Roll side to side. And to go back to sit it, this is very important because this is something we do every day as we wake up. It's very important to roll to one side and to help ourselves to come to sit it from the side. So this will help to protect your neck and your lower back when you come out of bed or from a lying position. So thank you very much for practicing with me. I hope this sequence helps you. I hope it relieves your lower back pain. Let me know in the comments if, if you have something to tell me, if you have any questions. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. You can just click on the subscribe button. It's free and I have uh, every week or almost every week. I try to do it every week, but it's not always possible. I have a, a free video coming up quite, quite often. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you soon. Namaste.